The Internet of Things is slated to be big. Estimates vary between 25 billion to 50 billion connected objects by 2020. With me to discuss is Alex Bazin, VP of the Head of Internet of Things for Fujitsu. Alex, we've all heard the hype, but what do you think a realistic projection for the future of this industry is? We're seeing estimates of up to $11 trillion of economic impact uh, by 2025. And that's across all sectors. So we've really seen um, manufacturing as being the lead sector for IoT and probably 30 to 50 percent of manufacturing businesses already have some element of Internet of Things, industrial internet inside them. But there's a huge potential for growing smart cities, utilities, and into areas such as, as retail and the public sector. And the challenges for the Internet of Things moving forwards? So I think there's three areas of challenge for the Internet of Things. The first of those is uh, security. So we're moving into an era of sort of 50 billion connected devices, many of which will be built into everyday consumer durables, cars, home appliances. And how do we keep those secured and updated over much longer product lifespans than we're used to in computers and in mobile phones where they might have a two or three year lifespan? The second of those is, is the network. So we're moving to an era of 50 billion connected devices from uh, the mobile internet, which is maybe about 10 billion connected devices. In the mobile internet, what we're seeing is a lot of content consumption, people watching films, listening to music on their tablets and on their smartphones. So that's very much a center out use of the network. With the Internet of Things, what we're looking at is lots and lots of devices talking to each other with relatively small amounts of data. And our networks aren't really built and optimized to, to cope with that traffic. How do wearables fit into this? So I think wearables will be uh, one of the most visible areas of the Internet of Things. They really are probably the most visible area of, of IoT at the moment. I see wearables moving into the enterprise. Just as with smartphones, we saw bring your own device becoming a, a real theme over the last five or six years. We're going to see something similar with, with wearables. And indeed businesses, how can they benefit from this new technology? Businesses uh, typically are benefiting from that new technology in terms of driving efficiency, improving uh, workplace safety, but also new consumers connecting to their supply chain uh, more effectively. So we're seeing examples of using the Internet of Things with a large turbine manufacturer where they're able to reduce their inventory write-offs by 30% because they can find uh, goods in their factory much more easily. They're also reducing their average seek time for critical components from two days to one hour in these sort of warehouse-sized factories. Finally, talk me through the trends, progression you see for the Internet of Things over the coming years. So I think in terms of trends, we've moved very uh, quickly through the industrial internet. We're seeing good penetration into manufacturers. We're starting now to see much more human-centric deployments of IoT within the workplace and starting to see those IoT technologies moving into other industries such as agriculture, public safety, smart cities.